Hello and welcome back to another episode of World War II History and Reenacting. Today we are going to review these reproduction magazine pouches from Schuster. Are they any good? I have been using mine now for a couple of years and attended many reenactments, and I must say, I really, really like them. Considering that these only cost $55 for a pair before shipping makes them even more impressive. These might just be some of the better ammunition pouches on the market with regards to material, construction, and price. This is what a typical magazine pouch for the MP38 and MP40 looked like. They came in sets of two, and each pouch had three individual cells for holding single 32 round stick magazines. The pouches were produced in a variety of different colors, designs and materials throughout the war. These are made from nice, heavy duty green canvas material with brown leather fittings. In the back are two leather belt loops. These are sewn with heavy duty linen thread. Each pouch has a D-ring for hooking on to the Y straps. They are firmly sewn into place and will not fall off. The overall quality is very good in my opinion. The leather straps are made from good quality thick leather. The only thing that I'm not entirely happy about is the metal hardware. It's not of the typical more rounded globe shape, but they are of high quality. One more thing, there are no manufacturer stamps, dates, etc. But that's not the end of the world as it could be added later if you really, really wanted to. The magazine compartments are a perfect fit for original magazines and keeps them nice and secure. You can clearly see the areas that are in contact with the magazine, as can be seen on many original examples as well. Here is a view of the stiffening seam at the bottom of each cell. As you can see, these pouches have weathered nicely. Very nice stitching. Here you can see the seam dividing the magazine cells. This canvas material looks very good and compares well to some originals. Correct double seam around the outer perimeter of the pouch. The left magazine pouch had a small additional pouch on the side. This was for holding a magazine speed loader. This one is well made and has all the details, just like the rest of the magazine pouch.
Would I recommend the Schuster made MP38 and MP40 ammunition pouches to other reenactors? Most definitely. And I will continue to use mine for many years to come. If you are thinking about buying reproduction uniforms and equipment for reenacting, it's a good idea to do some research first. Not only with regards to the unit you are portraying, but also the equipment. If you do not have access to reference books, you can find some fantastic information and thousands of reference photos of original items at fjm44.com in the Militaria reference section. And the best thing is that it's all free. That's all for now, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Auf Wiedersehen.